Alright, so this is the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 limited edition care package. As you can see, it's just a very small one, very light. Look with one hand. And here on the back, it can show you just about everything that's inside. There, you can see the motto, the future is black. If we already taken a peek at the campaign, not so black so far. Okay, but over here you get the bonus in game content, which is Nuketown Zombies in Nuketown 2025. Over here you can get the exclusive Xbox Live Claw Avatar prop and the zombie avatar costume. But that's only if you're really into, you know, that stuff. Then you get the collectible steel book case, and you also get the limited edition challenge coins. Also, two more stuff that I'm pretty sure no one's going to care about, but, well, except that. But this no one cares about. Official soundtrack by Jack Wall with theme by Trent Reznor. I'm pretty sure no one's really going to care about that, but, anyways. Okay, so now we have the MQ-27 Dragonfire drone with remote control. And yes, it does require some AA batteries before you um, uh, unpack it. It also includes, but wait, there's more, <laughs> exclusive weapon camo and exclusive player card backgrounds. And they already say that the backgrounds for this are um, uh, Nuketown and Zombie, only two of them. Alright, so now I'm going to unpack this thing. I should have put more caution into this. Alright, so this is how it looks with the thing off. And voila. Okay. Yep. Okay, so here is the remote control. I'll open this in a sec. And here we have the drone. I'll save this for last. So, under here. These are the challenge coins. I've already taken a peek at them. Okay, so, actually, it's kind of just like the Gears of War um, uh, limited edition. I'll bring that up right now. Just like this, this has a code on the back of it. Same with these and these codes are to get your avatar props yeah so let me just put this one alright okay. no, let me just take them out Just look up at the ceiling as I put this thing off.
Alright, so now that I have it, okay, this is heads, tails, it's a good thing that I have this light on because now you can't see the code, yeah, okay, it's heads and tails. And here it says the future is black. The motto. Wish I had an actual camera, but instead I'm just going to use a phone. Alright, then here we have another tails. Oh, wait, there's a code and that light is not going to block it out. Yeah, but over here it also says that the future is black and and now well. Okay, and this is heads tails. Alright. And this is the drone. And so Okay, now onto the steel bookcase. On this side has the campaign. That is the main character. I think that is, um, uh, not Alex Mason. Um, uh, uh, whatever. I'll find out his name later. And this is for the zombies. As you can see, there's one of the zombie characters holding the zombie's head. But either way, I enjoy it because it has very fine detail. And, yes, actually, that's pretty much the only reason why I enjoy it. Okay, so, this is the codes. I'm not going to show you them, but I am going to show you what you get with them. Okay. As I said, you get the Nuketown stuff and the Avatar props. Um, uh, a digital copy... Of composer Jack Wall's epic and gaming score with theme by Trent Reznor. Okay, I like themes. I didn't know about that. But I really do not care for digital composer. Okay. The player card backgrounds. You already know about that. Weapon camo. And then the collectible two-sided seal book. Which we are holding in our hands right now. Well, I am. You're not here. <laughs> Alright. And you know, with every game, it seems like they seem to be adding some back artwork into this, so. There it is. That's the artwork for the back of it. It will be two guns. I'll buy the main character of the campaign. Alright, so now we move on to the stuff that I'm pretty sure. Everyone is waiting for. Okay. I'll be back in a second. I'm going to... Well, yeah. 